Good morning and thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to share with you guys a musical version of Patricia McKissick's story, A Million Fish More or Less. The way I came across the story was I was reading a book in the library called Going Someplace Special and I loved that story and I looked and it was written by Patricia McKissick and so of course I requested all the books I could find in the system by her and oh my goodness gracious she writes the best stories but one in particular a million fish more or less caught my imagination it reminded me of my daddy because when I was growing up, my daddy used to tell stories about the one that got away. He was always telling tall tales. And so I loved that story. And a few weeks later, I was sitting around and I found myself humming. And then I found myself singing. And before I knew it, I had written the story into a song. And so thank you, Patricia McKissick. And this is the way the song goes. Well, I got me a line and I got me a pole and I went down fishing to the fishing hole, oh yeah, oh yeah, everything was going fine. I caught about a million fish and I strung them on my line. Well, I started for home, that's where the trouble began. About a million yellow eyes were staring me down, oh yeah, oh yeah. Those gators were a fearsome sight. Did you hear me say alligators? So I threw them at my fish and I snuck off into the night. Well, I still had half my fish, so I continued towards home. But the raccoon snakes and cats had minds of their own, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm a fish as they he wanted to die. They wanted to eat my fish. They didn't listen when I told them that those fishes were all mine. Well, I caught a million fish. It was easy as could be. But by the time I got home, I only had three. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You might catch a million fish all right. I did, I promise. But catching them and keeping them are different as day and night. So if you get a line and you get a pole and you go down fishing to the fishing hole, oh yeah, oh yeah, you might catch a million fish all right. I think you could. But catching them and keeping them are different as day and night. But catching them and keeping them are different as day and night. And if you enjoy the story in the song, you will love the book because the illustrations are delightful. So hang on and join me for a really fun craft and I'll see you again in a moment. Good morning again. I am back with a craft that I hope you'll have fun making. Um, this is a fishing craft, and what you're going to need is some kind of a stick. It could be a pencil, or it could be a stick from the yard. You'll need some string. You tie the string around the stick, and at the other end of the string, you need a magnet. Now, you may think you don't have a magnet, but I bet if you go to your refrigerator, you're going to find some business cards that people have sent you over the years that maybe you don't even use anymore. So you can just cut that magnet up and then tape it one side to the other with either double-sided sticky tape or tape that's rolled up so that you've got um, magnetic sticking points on either side of the string and you are ready to go fishing. But now you need fish. I had some scraps of um, paper that I've used for other projects that's a little bit heavyweight and I just drew fish after fish after fish and cut them out. And then I got some paper clips and poked them through where the mouth is. Now you could use a hole punch to punch a hole um, in, the, in the fish, and that's a fun thing to do. It helps um, build your hand muscles. But you're gonna need a metal paper clip so the magnet will stick, because magnets don't stick if it's not metal. So there we go, and catch a fish. There are so many fun things you can do once you have your fish pond full of fish. 
If you have different colored fish, you could use this for color recognition. Can you catch me a blue fish? <gasps> Yay, I caught a blue fish. Oh my goodness gracious. What about a magenta colored fish? That's kind of fancy, isn't it? I've got a magenta fish, oh my goodness. So you could use it for color recognition. You could also write letters of the alphabet on it and use it for letter recognition or even building words. What have I caught here? It's the letter A. Oh my goodness, I've got an A. What else do I have? What? Hmm, could I catch another letter? It's the letter T. A, A is what A says. T, T is what T says. I've got an A, T, A, T. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything else I could get to go with it. Let's see. Could I catch another letter? It's a B. What if I put the B, 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 with the A and the T? I've got a word, B, A, T. But at bat, oh my goodness, oh, could I catch another letter? What do I have? It's the letter S and that says S. If I put it with the at, I could make the word S at, sat, wow. What about another letter? Let's see, it's the letter R. R says ra 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 ra. If I put it with the at, I get ra at rat. Oh my goodness gracious. So building words is fun. You could also count. You could simply count one fish, two fish, three fish, but I need Five fish, I've got three. How many more do I need? I need, I had three and I need five. So that's four and that's five. So that was two more. Three plus two make five. You could even do letter, I mean, number recognition. The number one and the number three. And if you're working on numbers, you could add one plus three is, uh-huh, I'm waiting. One plus three is four, very good. What if you have three, but you take away one? Three minus one is two, very good. Oh my goodness gracious. So there are lots and lots and lots of games you can play with your magnetic fishing wand. I wonder how many fish I could catch. Do you think I could catch a million fish? A million? I don't know. Maybe so. Oh, I got three. I had three. One fell off, but I had three. You saw that. Oh my goodness. Well, go make your fishing game and have lots and lots of fun, and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.